A area, number 6 teaching building. This is a very old building. The slightly mottled walls are covered with green plants, and the handrails of the stairs are also rusty, just like the old school in the period drama. Is this really a university? Until now, L.U. Lee still feels unbelievable. There is no reception staff, no caring senior sister to help guide the way, and some are just an admissions manual with a map. Time goes back to two months ago. On the day when the college entrance examination results came out, he had an excellent art test score. Because his cultural score was not up to the undergraduate level, it seemed that he could only choose to repeat. Just when I was desperate, an unexpected admission notice gave myself another way. However, the strange thing is that the freshman admission manual clearly states, during special periods, it is forbidden to bring family members and others into the school, and offenders will be expelled from school. If he could not find the relevant information of this university on the official website and confirm that he has the qualifications to run the school, he would think he was being teased. After hesitating, L.U. Lee couldn't help taking out the admission notice and rereading it again, trying to find out something unreasonable. Anti-counterfeiting marks, steel seals, and principal's signatures are all available, and there is no problem at all. Classmate, are you also a freshman here? While L.U. Lee was stunned, a voice came from a distance. He turned and looked around and saw an inch-headed young man who was about the same age as his own foot on A.J., walking here with his black school bag on his back. Seeing this, L.U. Lee secretly breathed a sigh of relief, his voice raised unconsciously, Yes, which classroom are you going to? Maybe we two should be on the way. It's safer to have someone traveling together than alone. For some reason, he always feels that this place is not quite right and subconsciously wants to leave. 505. After finishing speaking, the inchtiv man ran to L.U. Lee's side quickly, panting and said, This ghost school is too far, and the mobile phone navigation can't be found. Indeed, I saw no one on the way except you. L.U. Lee opened the admission notice, took a look at him, and suggested, I just want to go to classroom 505, let's go up together. Okay, buddy, where are you from? The inch-headed man is a bit familiar. He raised his hand to put his hand on L.U. Lee's shoulder while he was speaking, but his face was sincere, which was not annoying. Yang. Before he finished speaking, the guy raised his brows and showed more enthusiasm. He stretched out his hand directly in front of him, haha, not far from my house, half a fellow, by the way. I forgot to tell you, my name is Duke. Hello. L.U. Lee shook his hand and added, My name is L.U. Lee, L.U. Lee of the land, Lee Lee Lee. Duke was taken aback for a moment, his face full of surprise, weird. Uh, that's right. Just like that, after introducing each other, the two walked and talked, and soon came to the door of the classroom. It's so hard to take a second exam but it's better now. When I went to school, I was dumbfounded and broke like this. Fortunately, my parents didn't follow, otherwise I would have to get angry. At his side, Duke was thinking about it. Listening to his tone, I don't know whether it is fortunate or complaining. Inadvertently, L.U. Lee saw an announcement posted on the wall on the left, please enter the students who came to our department to report on September 1st. In addition, after entering the classroom, you are not allowed to leave without authorization. Violators are responsible for the consequences. Announcement by the admissions office. The scarlet font is very eye-catching. Vaguely, L.U. Lee smelled blood. Duke, something is wrong here, why only open one classroom for freshmen? At this moment, a soft female voice came from the classroom, after waiting for half an hour. I finally saw the figure. What are you two doing? Come in quickly. L.U. Lee looked at the sound and saw a sweet-looking girl in a white dress sitting in the front row of the lecture hall waving to them. It's okay. As expected of our acting department, we have never lacked beautiful women. I think the college career in the next four years will be very exciting. 
Duke smiled and nodded to the girl and asked in a low voice, L. U. Li, do you think this girl is long? What's going on? The words fell, he saw L. U. Li hesitating, as if he didn't want to go in, smiled and said, Brother, the university is not a high school. It's normal to start classes in batches according to majors. Well, I just feel that this place is too shabby, and it doesn't match the introduction in the admissions guide. After finishing speaking, L. U. Li also felt that he was too suspicious. Hey, the two of you are too daunting. By the way, sit next to me, anyway, there is no name posted on the desk. Miss Sister, don't be messy. Just started school. Duke didn't want to be labeled a mess, and smiled and leaned over to say, My name is Duke, add a friend, how about it? In contrast, L. U. Lee looked calmer. He put down his school bag and said to the girl in the white skirt, Hello, have you seen other classmates? No. Yang Yuan Yuan shook her head, and moved her gaze away from Duke. She felt that the character in front of her was too detached. Why are these people? I shouldn't have gone to a third-rate undergraduate that can't recruit new students. It's really mold for eight lifetimes. Another voice came from the door of the classroom, and the three of them frowned as they looked at it. Like Duke, the speaker also has short inches and is wearing a limited-edition co-branded coat. The logo is particularly eye-catching. However, his neck is embroidered with a tattoo, and his behavior is not like a student so he almost writes domineering on his face. N.S. Where do you put Nima here? Get out. At this time, a beam-thick arm pushed the guy away. The whole process is like an adult bullying a child. UU reading www.uugonshu.com effortlessly. Grass. Obviously, the logo man was so dazzled by anger that he refused to eat any loss. After reacting, he immediately jumped up and fought with the person behind him. Upon seeing this, Yang Yuan Yuan sighed lightly. She felt that she had come to the wrong place. It was completely different from the university she had imagined. And Duke wanted to rush to help and separate the two people, but was held by L. Yu Li on the side. He only heard him say in a deep voice, Don't worry about it, maybe I can take the opportunity to see the teacher. Anyone with a discerning eye can see that for the tall classmate, he can completely control this little scene. Gradually, more and more people crowded at the door of the classroom to watch the show, but the teacher still did not show up. That's it. Are you convinced? Isn't it something you could say just now, why are you dumb now? Someone persuaded, brother, school has just started, there is no need to make the relationship so stiff. Let go first. Everyone agrees, you say what I say, and what's more, quietly take out your mobile phone and make an emergency call. A few seconds later. Sorry, the number you dialed is not in the service area, please try again later. Sorry, the number you dialed is a tough service. No one noticed, the old clock hung on the wall was spinning fast. 9 hours 59 minutes and 42 seconds. 49 seconds, 53 seconds, 55 seconds. 10 o'clock exactly. Russell. At this moment, the few people closest to the blackboard heard strange noises the chalk floated strangely. Look at the blackboard. The chalk is flying. Needless to remind Yang Yuan Yuan, a few sharpied classmates have discovered the abnormality. Including L. Yu Li. He stared straight at the blackboard the chalk fell down, and the small words appeared, Time, 1888 AD Location, Fog City London Background, in 1829, Scotland Yard established a police system all over the city. Then, the Second Industrial Revolution emerged, and the Victorian England became more and more prosperous. London is also known as the world's best capital. But, Darkness and light are in the same field. Under the false prosperity, the citizens at the bottom have received too much unfair treatment. Diseases, poverty and alcoholism all acted as cause and effect for each other, which exacerbated the division of the class, with the eastern district being the most typical. 
it is full of poor workers, down and coming homeless people, refugees who have just arrived and, of course, there are countless rascals and murderous criminals. At the same time, the Eastern District is also a gathering place for the Orioles. After they are unemployed, they have to live here and barely make a living, with as many as 60,000 at the highest. Clang! The chalk fell from midair as if it had lost its power, but everyone still stared at the blackboard intently. Because the scenes happening in front of them are tearing to pieces the worldview that they took 20 years to establish. L. U. Lee, this, this. Duke's heart trembled, his teeth trembled, and he stammered for a long time, unable to even speak a complete sentence. Stop talking, the chalk is floating again. After the words finished, L. U. Lee exhaled, trying his best to maintain calmness, but his tight eyebrows and lips betrayed his inner panic. The blackboard gargles, and occasionally there are a few toothy rubbing sounds the difficulty of this test is extremely low, the time limit is five days, and the requirements are as follows, 1, justice will prevail 2, justice nemesis notice. Those who die midway will be erased and expelled, those who perform poorly will be sent to the inferior class, those who have passed the performance will be sent to the ordinary class, those who perform well will be promoted to the superior class. Please make a choice within 30 seconds, and say three silently in your heart. If the time limit is exceeded, the school will randomly assign camps. The chalk fell, and there was no sign of floating again, but the classroom was extremely quiet. Oppression, tension, fear, and anxiety. After all, the first time I encountered this situation, no one could resume thinking in a short time. The placement test officially begins. Suddenly, a low and hoarse voice came into L. U. Lee's ears, and then, he felt the surrounding scene distorted and changed. In the dimness, a double-story apartment gradually solidified, the garden, the street, the Buckingham Palace, the railway, the chimney, the line of sight continued to extend outward, and finally a city completely appeared in front of you. A detective from the Far East, has the title of Lord, has no relatives, single to this day. For some reason, there was a strange memory in L. U. Lee's mind, and he was entangled with his own memory. Pain. Tingling hard to bear. He tried to struggle to get up, but suddenly felt black before his eyes and fainted directly. 1888, August 7. Baker Street, the morning mist is everywhere. Click the door opened, and a young man with black hair and black eyes came to the corridor, found a step to sit down, and stared at the pedestrians on the street in a daze. The well-dressed men, stepping on hard-soled leather shoes, leaning on a cane, and striding forward, there is an indescribable pride on their bodies, as if the whole world is revolving around them. The ladies wearing black veils look luxurious and exquisite. The red lamb shank sleeves extend down the arms and narrow suddenly to the forearms. The contrast sets off the smallness and cuteness of the wrists, while the skirt drags all the way to the feet, just like from the princess walks out of the fairy tale. The scenes in front of me are illusory and real. Earlier, L. U. Lee really couldn't understand how anyone in the world was so bored that he organized a grand scheme at the expense of money, just to deceive a group of students who have not yet entered the society. Unfortunately, a lady stepped on the horse dung, vomited recklessly, and screamed at the coachman who passed by, that he recognized the reality. This is not a prank, as the blackboard said, he came to the foggy city at the end of the 19th century. Bimitroth, I was seeking for a fool when he found you. In fact, it is not an easy task to understand the words of Londoners from the extremely fast speaking rate. L. U. Lee's loose English is definitely not possible, but he really understands it. How can you describe all this except for miracles? By analogy, what you say will be translated into English by the school and then transmitted to strangers to prevent your identity from being exposed. Just as L. U. Lee lowered his head to meditate, a rush of bells came from the front. He subconsciously raised his head and saw William Parsons a postman delivering letters to residents of Baker Street. In my memory, this guy often wore a top hat and a red coat, 
ringing bells from door to door, UU reading www.uuganshu.com If there is a letter that needs to be handed to him, or if a letter is mailed, he will be at the door the front stopped until the head of the household couldn't bear the noise and opened the door to respond. Hiss. If the tingling in his head hadn't still existed and his thinking had become extremely clear, Lu Li would definitely think he was dreaming. Otherwise, how could he know a stranger and understand his every move? However, for William, he has confirmed that the head of the household has seen him, so he enthusiastically raised the letter paper in his hand, Good day, Mr. Lu Li, you have a letter from Scotland Yard. Good day, my friend. Hearing this, Lu Li got up and walked to the gate of the fence, and he said something. The result was not unexpected. The smile on William's face was undiminished and he became more enthusiastic. After all, it was a great honor to be friends with a lord. Sir, I'm so happy to see you. What can I do for you, for example, read the contents of the letter to you? At this moment, the postman spoke incoherently and unabashedly released his kindness. Frankly speaking, it doesn't feel good to be sought after, Lu Li stepped back subconsciously. This action is tantamount to pouring down a basin of cold water, which made William a lot calmer. He lowered his head and said in a deep voice, Sorry, Mr. Lu Li, please forgive me for being rude. Darkness and light are in the same field. Between people, there is a gap between heaven and hell. At this moment, Lu Li shuddered when he thought of the words on the blackboard. My friend, I didn't intend to do that. If you want, you can come in for a cup of coffee before leaving. Really can? Certainly. More than ten minutes later, the fence door closed, and noisy bells came from next door. A letter? At the same time, Lu Li vaguely guessed that, like a role-playing game, that weird school was helping him intervene in some kind of case, in other words, it was releasing the main mission. Thinking of this, he put down the white porcelain cup, opened the flame-painted envelope, and a long letter flicked out. Dear Mr. Lu Li, last night, there was a murder case in the White Church District. The incident was as follows at around two o'clock this morning, a cleaner found a female body near the White Church. Patrol police from the district rushed to the scene and the inspection report was also appalling, all the teeth of the deceased were missing, the eyes were missing, the neck was severed, and he had a laparotomy. There was no trace of struggle during his lifetime. Such a brutal evil deeds made all colleagues in Scotland Yard angry, but unfortunately, we were still at a loss before writing. After all, the deceased's belongings were not lost and his identity was difficult to confirm after he was tragically disfigured. Love kill? Vendetta? Wrong kill? As for the murderer's motives, my colleagues had their own opinions, and almost became a quarrel. Therefore, I deeply feel that this case is tricky. I hope you will visit Scotland Yard before 12 o'clock. I will wait here and promise that everything will remain the same before you arrive. If you can't come, Please reply to us. Click one or two. I am very grateful. Scotland Yard, Chief Officer of Criminal Investigations, Harvard Vincent, sincerely, after reading it patiently and making sure that there is nothing left out, Lu Li folded the letter paper and put it in his pocket, his expression always solemn. The senior officials of Scotland Yard sent a letter in person, which means that the case must be very complicated and the content of the letter is by no means humble. But, what was the fog of 1888? Queen Victoria, colonies, steam locomotives, workers, capitalists. And Jack the Ripper. Suddenly, a legendary figure came to mind. L.U. Lee abruptly stood up from the sofa. Such a horrible murder is probably only done by antisocial mobs and Jack the Ripper is a representative figure. However, for the next period of time, no matter what he thought, he didn't have the slightest clue. After all, even for later generations with advanced technology, there are still divergent opinions about who Jack is. Thinking of this, 
L.U. Lee decided to accept the invitation to assist Scotland Yard in arresting the murderer. Because he is familiar with all kinds of online writing routines under the indoctrination of modern society, and he also understands the truth, the winner takes all, the loser eats the dust. In this chronology, there is more than one actor, and there are as many as 40 people. Regardless of their respective camps, they are in fact competing. And just now. Coco. Co. A knock on the door sounded, and L.U. Lee instantly became nervous, making up for various dramas, desperate refugees entering the house, robbery, the cold killer sent by the enemy. While hesitating, he saw the coat rack on the right, with a black cane hanging on it. Deputy weapon. With a walking stick that shows demeanor and identity, it is fully capable of self-defense equipment. So, L.U. Lee turned around and walked towards the coat rack. After getting the cane, he immediately tried to wave a few times. The sound of breaking through the air is very textured. Probably it only takes one click to blow someone's head. A sense of security emerged spontaneously. He walked carefully to the door and opened a gap, who? The hand hidden behind the door is ready to go. Mr. Detective, I am from Scotland Yard. I have specially invited you to serve as a special advisor for the Whitechapel murder. Hearing this, L.U. Lee still did not dare to take it lightly, looking at the strange visitor through the crack of the door. A tall helmet shaped like a coxcomb, a high-neck tunic, and dark blue trousers. This dress is indeed the same as the attire of the Scottish Yard police officers in my memory. So anxious, while sending the letter, he also sent someone to pick him up. It seems that Scotland Yard is a must. L.U. Lee pressed his mind, released his cane, and slowly opened the door, please come in, what to drink? Thank you, it's just an emergency, let's leave now. Wensley looked serious, his words and deeds were quite resolute. Seeing that he refused directly, L.U. Lee felt a little surprised. Isn't it a Western tradition to drink a cup of coffee if it's all right? However, that's okay. If you get in touch with the case earlier, the rate of solving the case can be a little bit higher. So L.U. Lee nodded directly. Right on my mind. After hearing the affirmative answer, Winsley's tight face finally eased. With the help of this well-known detective, Scotland Yard can definitely find out the truth. Then, let's go. The two walked out of the apartment side by side, exchanging their views on the case on the way. I only joined this year and I happened to be assigned to the Whitechapel district. Wensley lowered his eyes and said in a deep voice, therefore, after the murder happened, he and two other colleagues rushed to the scene as soon as possible. Did you find anything? L.U. Lee asked subconsciously. At that time, the air was humid, the blood had not completely solidified, the floor tiles were stained red. UU reading www.uugonshu.com flies were running around. Frankly speaking, we were all terrified at the time, the hollow eye sockets were full of the wounded torso, vomit. Recalling this, Winsley slowly shook his head with an expression of disgust, a murderer is not qualified to be called a human. It is a bipedal beast, a civilized villain, and the son of Satan. Squatted to the side of the street and vomited, no longer the previous cow lengthen. Stop a car. Seeing Wensley's expression in pain, L.U. Chi was covered with a haze. After witnessing the scene of the murder, a professional police officer appeared to be so embarrassed. What about him? When I saw the corpse, it was estimated that the condition would not be much better. Excuse me, the fare is covered by, ooh. Scotland Yard, ooh. The oatmeal porridge was mixed with sour water, and L.U. Lee only glanced at it, then quickly moved his eyes away. On the streets, there are people like weaving, horse and ox carts everywhere, but when it comes to urban construction, it may not be as good as the remote mountainous areas of later generations. The shops either have no signs or only hang a wooden sign. Looking around, there are rarely more than four. Story Building Of course, all kinds of livestock manure are also indispensable. The wheels can be hinged to fly them. 
therefore, pedestrians must always pay attention to their feet and surroundings. The so-called cosmopolitan city Apart from the large number of people and the arrogant criminal activities, L.U. Lee has not yet had other feelings. Soon, a dilapidated open carriage stopped in front of them, two gentlemen, where are you going? Number 4 Baiting Street, faster. L.U. Lee replied on his behalf, and then took the handle outside the car to help Wensley in. Along the way, the carriage drove very smoothly, but the smog was a bit serious, and small water droplets condensed on the clothes. The foggy city of the 19th century was very busy with traffic. The carriage shuttles from side to side, avoiding pedestrians from time to time. Many of them are tramps. They don't even have boots, so they walk barefoot into the mud mixed with livestock dung. Seeing this, L.U. Lee couldn't help lowering his head and looked at the boots of the right size under his feet. He finally got a deep impression of this era in his heart. And his behavior fell in Winsley's eyes, but it turned into a contemplative and clueless frustration. Mr. Detective, what are you thinking? It's just a trivial matter, it has nothing to do with the case. L.U. Lee shook his head, preparing to talk to the police officer about something else. As a result, he suddenly thought of an important matter, and changed the conversation, by the way, can you take the liberty to ask, who in total did you invite to participate in the investigation of the Whitechapel murder? What? Winsley was surprised, and his tone was puzzled, a famous detective like you is the only one in London. If you can't solve this murder case, it's useless to invite others. Seeing the police officer beside him admired him so much, L.U. Lee faintly felt that things were not quite right. It stands to reason that since it is an exam, it should be based on the principle of fairness and participate in the investigation of the Jack the Ripper case as a detective. Then, where did the other Thurdenin competitors go? In what capacity will they appear? After some thoughts, L.U. Lee decided to give up. After all, this kind of thing beyond the scope of understanding, it is useless to think too much, solving the case is the key. So, he suggested, may I go to the murder scene in the White Church area first? I want to see the dead. Wensley was taken aback for a moment, not knowing how to answer, because the superior's order was, invite Mr. L.U. Lee to Whitehall Street to discuss matters related to the appointment of a special consultant. Now. This famous detective suddenly wants to go to the scene of the murder, which is a bit out of compliance. After a long time, seeing this guy still did not respond, L.U. Lee urged, Whitehall Street is not close to Baker Street. After dealing with those boring trivial matters, head to Whitechapel District. I am afraid it will be more difficult to see any clues from the body. N.S. In fact, since an unfamiliar memory appeared in his mind, he is no longer the layman before, in this age without cold storage, as time goes by, the corpse will quickly decay, and the value will become more and more. The lower. After weighing a little, Winsley nodded instinctively out of a sense of justice in his heart, and said in a deep voice, as you wish. The coachman, don't have to go to Whitehall Street, just send us directly to the Whitechapel district, hurry up. After hearing the police officer's words, the middle-aged coachman suddenly came to his mind, I see, I promise, I will definitely arrive within an hour. Whitechapel District is in East London, and Baker Street is in West London. The distance between the two is far, which means you can make more money. At this point, the driver felt uneasy, and he reminded him, two gentlemen, according to the new regulations of the union, the charge is one shilling for less than two miles, and then six pence per mile. Do you have any objections? No, you can hurry up. L.U. Lee didn't care. For now, he is not short of money at all. Moreover, all the expenses caused by the investigation are paid by Scotland Yard, and there is no need to worry about financial pressure. About an hour later, the silence was broken again because the destination had arrived. The two jumped out of the car while holding the handle. Winsley took a silver coin out of the purse and handed it to the driver, and signaled that he didn't need to find change. 
and L. Yu Li frowned slightly, and the depression in front of him formed a sharp contrast with the bustling Baker Street. I saw old houses lined up on both sides of the street. On the corners, fights were happening all the time. Several homeless men were fighting for scrapped newspapers. After all, that thing can help them survive one cold and humid night after another. After a few hurried glances, L. U. Lee retracted his gaze, tilted his head and said, Officer Winsley, take me to the scene of the murder. Um. In the past few years, there have been more and more refugees. The public security problem in the White Church District has become more and more serious. There have been too many violent incidents. This is also the reason why homicides are difficult to detect. After arriving in the jurisdiction, Winsley became silent and talked no more, and provoked the topic. There are too many suspects, and every homeless person may commit a crime, right? That's right. In this case, the most important thing now is to find out who the deceased is, and to narrow the scope of investigation through her interpersonal relationship during her lifetime. At this moment, L. U. Lee, who was gradually entering the state, said his inner thoughts, but Wensley still held a pessimistic attitude, and sighed, but, that lady has been disfigured, and her body is mutilated. Seeing is believing, let's wait until I finish examining the corpse, and then make the final conclusion. Just as they were talking, the two had already crossed several streets and came to a filthy and desolate alley. Several uniformed police officers were surrounded there, waving batons and driving away passers-by. Winsley narrowed his expression, pointed to the dim and narrow alley in front of him and said, The body is inside. After we blocked the scene, no one touched it again. At this moment, only a step away from the corpse land, L. U. Lee felt that he was persuaded. Organs, blood, flies. It makes me sick to think about it. However, the matter was here, he had no choice but to walk forward pretending to be calm, and Wensley followed closely behind him while waving his hand to signal several colleagues to follow him. As soon as he stepped into the alley, the stench came over his face, L. Yu Liqiang resisted his fear and continued to walk deep. Through the fog, everyone vaguely saw the corpse lying on the ground. Even the old police officer who had been accustomed to life and death in his career would feel instinctively sad after witnessing the tragedy before him. Gouging eyes, crushing teeth, cutting throat, rupture of abdominal cavity, everything is just as described in the letter. But unexpectedly, when he saw the corpse clearly, L. U. Lee felt that his fear was not as deep as he had imagined. The unfamiliar memory told him, these are just small scenes. Keep calm and try your best to make the deceased speak. This is what a detective should do. A highly realistic game, no more, just think of it as a film. After meditation in his heart for dozens of seconds, after adjusting his state, L. U. Lee took out the magnifying glass and tape measure from his jacket, and said, Police officer, please use a tape to measure the height of the deceased. Wensley clenched his fists, forced himself not to vomit and then bit his scalp and walked over. The deceased was 5.5 feet tall, female. Well, please write it down. After finishing speaking, L. U. Lee continued to look at the corpses on the ground, not mentioning the wounds, plagues, and the cause of death for the time being. After all, autopsy should be handled by a forensic officer before a professional conclusion can be drawn. After losing the eyeballs, the face of the corpse will be deformed, and the loss of teeth will exacerbate this phenomenon. Therefore, requiring nearby residents to come and identify the corpse is a time-consuming but effective method that absolutely does not work. However, it does not prevent L. U. Lee from making the most basic reasoning. Judging from the size of the deceased, she was an adult female with a slightly plump body. The clothes all over his body were stained with blood, and his abdomen was eroded and turned black, and he couldn't bear to stare. The letter said that the deceased's money was not lost, so where is the money bag? L. U. Lee's voice trembled a bit, but none of the people present dared to laugh, after all, their performance was not much better. There are too many homeless people nearby. To prevent accidents, I put them away first. 
For fear of being misunderstood, an old police officer with a beard quickly added, All colleagues present can testify. If there is one missing piece in the pocket, I am willing to accept any punishment. After he finished speaking, Liu Li put away the magnifying glass and asked bluntly, How much money is there? Nine pounds and fifteen pence. This answer is not the same as expected. The bottom of the deceased's leather boots was severely worn, which shows that her financial situation was not ideal during her lifetime. How could she carry a large sum of money with her? You know, four pounds of freshly baked bread is only sold for six shillings, and one pound is equal to twenty shillings, or two hundred and forty pence. Judging from the memory he inherited, L.U. Lee estimated that a single lady could live well in London with an income of £60 a year. Because of this, it is very illogical that a lady who is dressed in ordinary clothes contains belongings that do not match her identity and status. Read it here. L.U. Lee slowly leaned down and continued to examine the unnamed female corpse in front of him the victim lay on his back, his face was and he couldn't see his appearance. S. Neck was almost severed. There should be a fatal wound here. Moreover, he was cut through a laparotomy. There was a long and deep inverted V-shaped wound on the abdomen, and the internal organs appeared black and red. Silk cap. Soon, L.U. Lee noticed an inconspicuous detail. The deceased was wearing a coal bucket-shaped soft hat with a few fake flowers dotted on it, which looked very delicate. Generally speaking, this kind of small objects are very popular with ladies. They can be seen almost everywhere in Baker Street. But, he is now in the Whitechapel district, a slum filled with homeless people. Was silent for a while, L.U. Kikai had a guess that could stand scrutiny. Wensley, who has been paying attention to L.U. Lee, saw his brows stretched, and immediately asked, Mr. Detective, do you have any new discoveries? The deceased was a warbler. Due to professional needs, she tries to make herself as beautiful as possible every day, such as wearing a silk cap and lace in her skirt. Upon hearing this, the police officers nodded one after another. They have maintained law and order in the Whitechapel district for a long time. But, soliciting customers can't make so much money, right? If I remember correctly. When was halfway through? Winsley stopped his voice instantly, coughing lightly to cover up his embarrassment. Facing a rhetorical question, L.U. Lee emphasized, the deceased was already dead in the early hours of the morning. Think about it carefully, at that time, what kind of talent would walk in the alleys? Night shift female workers. Winsley wanted to refute instinctively, but felt that it was unlikely to be a female worker. After all, who would wear a fancy hat to the factory for night work. As for the other police officers, they have been acting as background boards. As long as Mr. Detective does not ask questions, they will always remain silent. Looked left and right, seeing no one to cooperate with him, L.U. Lee decided to continue the deduction, at midnight, in a narrow and dark alley, the victim was looking for guests. At this time, a man with a cane appeared. This guy was very rich. Perhaps there was a carriage that symbolized financial resources parked behind him. Soon, the two talked about everything. The victim thought that he was lucky. After all, it is not common for a man to make a lot of money in the Whitechapel district. However, what happened next made her regret. The man raised his left hand, which had been hidden behind his back. The sharp blade flashed with cold light and passed by. In an instant, she lost consciousness, did not struggle or fight in the middle, because everything was too short to react. The words fell, and everyone was silent in place. Based on facts, based on many tiny clues, analyze, guess, and even infer more clues, until all clues can form a complete logic. This is the basic deduction method. As long as it is ensured that the major and minor premises do not go wrong, and the logic is self-consistent, the conclusion will be infinitely close to the truth, and even consistent with the truth. At this time, L.U. Lee took another new move. He walked quickly to the old police officer, his voice rose unconsciously, 
can you give me the victim's money bag? Upon seeing this, everyone felt a little restless. They wanted to know what kind of trick this famous detective would perform in just half an hour, it sorted out the problems that all the elites of Scotland Yard could not solve. It was not a trick, but what could it be? When he thought of this, the old police officer was so excited that he couldn't hold on himself. He grabbed a purse from his pocket and sent it to L. U. Lee's hands. As expected, the starting point is very light. Sure enough, the murderer made a lavish move, not a fat man with a swollen face. L. U. Lee sighed in his heart, then pulled the knot away and shook out a small handful of coins, nine of which were shining with dark golden light. Nine pounds and fifteen pence, I guess, only fifteen pence belonged to the victim, and the other nine pounds were bait cast by the murderer to make her relax. UU reading www.uukonshu.com The old police officer looked blank. Where did he draw the conclusion? He looked around, his colleagues were like this, and he couldn't think of the reason. At this time, L.U. Lee put the deceased's belongings back in his pocket, and asked in a deep voice, Officer Winsley, if you want to buy a valuable item, how would you pay for it? What? Wensley was taken aback when he heard the words, and subconsciously wanted to ask the reason. As soon as he raised his head, he met L. U. Lee's probing gaze. It seemed that Mr. Detective was not joking. Thinking of this, Wensley lowered his head and seriously thought about how to answer. After dozens of seconds. If I want to buy a brand new bicycle, I will probably save two months and save the shilling, that's it. Before he finished speaking, this guy instantly figured out the key points and took the initiative to explain to L. U. Lee, everyone, the murderer uses Savalin to pay for the prostitutes. Presumably, he must not be short of money. Since I can join Scotland Yard to maintain public order in London, it means that none of the people present are mediocre. After Winsley gave the tips, they all wanted to understand, in London, most people use copper and silver coins to check out, for example, florin, krona, and shaflin, made of gold, is small and easy to carry, equivalent to one pound, and is most suitable for nobles and wealthy businessmen who don't care about money. Unable to determine the identity of the deceased. Has progress? At this moment, the old police officer had a sense of unreality in his heart. He didn't expect that he would find a breakthrough in such a simple way. And L. U. Lee shook his head, embarrassed by Scotland Yard's ability to handle cases, they only paid attention to the corpse itself, but ignored the subtleties. 12 Noon East London, Whitechapel District As carriages drove in, this dark alley became extremely lively. Let's let it go, let it all spread out. We will notify you when necessary and publicize the case to all sectors of society. Please don't gather here to obstruct the case. Outside the isolation line, a dozen police officers waved red warning sticks to signal the group of newspaper reporters holding the sketchbook not to approach. Not far away, in the middle of the alley, an old man wearing tortoiseshell glasses is telling his subordinates how to investigate, send a few groups of plain clothes to the nearby tavern for dirty activities to ask who was missing last night, he is 5.5 feet or so, wearing a silk soft hat. The words fell, he paused, staring at the deceased, and added, I like to wear a slutty black inner skirt during his lifetime. Received, Mr. Vincent. Master, it's raining soon. Go back to the office for coffee first. We will definitely get things done. The three high-ranking police officers raised their hands to salute the old man, with a respectful look, because the old gentleman in front of him is a re-inventor of Scotland Yard eleven years ago, some high-evil people colluded with criminals to set up a gambling bank and were exposed. Among them, four of the five police detective departments appeared in court for trial. In order to repair the damaged reputation of the police, Harvard Vincent reorganized Scotland Yard and established a criminal investigation division to handle major cases. In the end, Scotland Yard regained the trust of London citizens, and as the advocate and implementer of the bill, Mr. Vincent was naturally respected. However, 
as he got older, the old man became more and more irritable. In the face of everyone's favor, he bluntly recounted, asshole thing, what kind of office is back, I should have stuffed your heads into the toilet long ago, and be sober. One time. At the time of the report, didn't you tell me that the case was complicated and there was no breakthrough? Why did Mr. L. U. Lee find the clue in only half an hour? The more the old man said, the more angry he became, and the more he felt that he had to fire some guys. However, for L. U. Lee who was standing not far away in a daze, he didn't care about other people's praise. After all, a passerby who could only stay here for five days didn't need to care about fame or money. In addition to solving the case, everything is a cloud. Ticking. A haze enveloped the city all day long. The sky was so grey that no sunlight was visible, and the thick fog had brewed all morning, and finally it rained at noon. Lord, thanks to you for this matter, otherwise, we will have to fiddle with Scotland Yard for a while before we can get on the right track. At this time, Vincent, who had finished explaining the business, walked over quickly holding an umbrella. You have a reputation. L. U. Lee is not interested in dealing with a strange old man, even if the relationship between the two has always been good in his memory, he still feels very responsive. Let's have lunch together. Sorry. I don't have any appetite. Within a few words, L. U. Lee successfully killed a topic. At this time, Vincent also noticed that he was not very interested, and said warmly, Well, if there is any progress in the case, I will send someone to contact you. It's raining heavily outside, so take this umbrella. Also, don't forget how much to eat. Well, please take care of it. L. U. Lee said vaguely. Seeing such a disgusting scene, who is still in the mood to eat, at least he has made up his mind not to eat steak in the next few days. Not long after, Vincent rode a carriage away. Judging from the direction, it should be Whitehall Street. After all, as the chief officer of a department, it is impossible for the old man to devote all his energy to a murder case. If it were not for the bad impact of the case, and the police chief of the district declared that he was unable to solve the case, it is estimated that he would not even write an invitation letter. Time slowly passed, and the rain continued to patter. Not only did it show no signs of stopping, it became more intense and the sludge was washed into the sewer along with the blood stains, and L. U. Lee couldn't help but cover his nose with the unspeakable smell. Be steady. Quick, add another layer. At this time, Winsley's voice came from the alley. At this moment, he is organizing manpower to wrap the female body tightly in oil cloth. It seems that he intends to take it back to the police station and ask the doctor for an autopsy. Mr. Detective where are you going? Go to the police station together, or should I send someone to drive you back to Baker Street? In fact, Wensley has been paying attention to L. U. Lee, and when he saw him cast his gaze, he immediately responded. It's a pity that this guy's voice is a little loud, so that the newspaper reporters who are standing outside the cordon can hear it. For a time, the shouts kept on. Far East Wizard, come and have a few words. Lord, I can ask you two questions at most, so I can talk to the editor when I go back. The Wizard of the Far East, the Saviour of Scotland Yard, the Lord Hawkeye, these extremely second-rate titles are all nicknames given to the original by this group of unscrupulous writers. It turns out that one slap won't make a sound. In his memory, the original body is a guy who has a strong desire to perform and is eager to be sought after so every time he helps the police solve a case, he will take the initiative to accept interviews. However, this has nothing to do with the current L. U. Lee. He glanced at the newspaper reporter who was beckoning to him, and was too lazy to bother, and walked straight to the police convoy, go to the Whitechapel District Police Station. Is there a place for you to house idlers? Of course, the UU reading www.uugonshu.com police station has just been expanded the year before, and there are many rooms. Winsley greeted him, but while talking, he secretly gestured to the colleague who was standing by the cordon. 
the leader knew instantly, leading a dozen of his subordinates to line up, and turning his back to the alley, blocking the view of the reporter with his body. After all, being famous for detectives means that Scotland Yard is incompetent. The reason is very simple. If they are really capable, why ask for off-site assistance? What's more, reporters always like to exaggerate facts and use gimmicks to make money. They don't care about Scotland Yard's reputation for painstaking efforts. A few minutes later, everything was ready. The body was wrapped in two layers of tarp and loaded into the last carriage. In front of the team, L.U. Lee shook the water droplets on the umbrella, lowered his head and got into the spacious carriage, looked at Wensley and asked, Next, what are your plans? Send plain clothes police to find out the identity of the deceased, and send the body to a trusted doctor for autopsy to clarify the time and cause of death. Wensley spread his hands, he was also very anxious, eager to arrest the murderer as soon as possible. But what makes people feel helpless is that the next work is very cumbersome. Although there is no need to order anything specifically, you have to wait time and wait patiently. Give it to the doctor for anatomy. L.U. Lee was taken aback, and asked with surprise, is there no forensic officer in the White Church area? There was one, but unfortunately, I quit my job some time ago to open a clinic in Atlantic City. Well, is there a suitable candidate? Professor Duke, have you ever heard of this name? He is currently a professor of medicine at King's College. The words fell, and the figure of an inch-headed man appeared in L.U. Lee's mind. River Thames, King's College. Department of Medicine, Number 2 Anatomy Room, brightly lit. What do you see? Professor Duke, judging by what you said in class, the deceased died between 1.30 and 1.30 this morning. Sure. Uh. The student in the white coat hesitated for a while, and finally said slowly, uncertain, the corpse phenomenon will be affected by the environment, blood loss and other factors, postponed or advanced, or even non-existent. Teacher, professor, what are you doing looking at me? The students did not dare to continue. Duke saw him full of anxiety, and instantly reminded him of himself in high school. Why bother to learn scum? However, since this morning, the scumbag Duke has disappeared, replaced by Mr. Duke, the youngest medical professor in Western history. Although the whole process is very bizarre, as a modern young man who is proficient in various online literary routines, Duke only struggled for a few seconds before he thought of the main space, nightmare space. And two hours ago, a pleading letter from the Whitechapel District Police Station convinced Duke that his main task was here. He quickly took a student and rushed to the autopsy room. Bernard, you are very talented, maybe modern forensic medicine depends on you to save it. At this moment, Duke's passionate voice echoed in the anatomy room, like a priest praying. Unfortunately, there are only two listeners around. One death and one alive, the reaction is also different. The lady lying on the dissection table was silent and protested with an unspeakable stench, but Bernard, who was highly praised by her mentor, was so excited that she could not hold on to herself. If she hadn't had some sense of reason, she would have shouted loudly. Screamed. However, you are still too far behind. These words are no different from pouring cold water on his head, and Bernard is in a trance, because in his impression, the professor is very stable, and there are few people with such bad tastes. Okay. I won't tease you any more. I will start the autopsy right away. Put on the mask soon. God knows how many germs there are on the deceased. After finishing speaking, Duke restrained his emotions and took it out in a familiar manner, gloves, puncture needles, hemostatic forceps, scalpels, pointed scissors, thermometers, bone saws. Bernard has never seen such a complete set of equipment, some of which can't even be named. Professor, can you start? Well, open it all. The duel between modern forensics and the murderer is about to begin. However, in the next second, the sound of vomiting came out of the second autopsy room. Bernard, if you can't stand it, 
go out first, remember to close the door, vomit. It's okay, just spit it out. A few minutes later, the two put on new masks, and Duke, who inherited the memory of forensic medicine, gradually became serious and lost the previous jump. Speaking for the dead is a task, but also a responsibility. Bernard, sometimes, there is a certain error in judging the time of death based on the degree of corpse spots. Besides, this lady lost too much blood. Using this method has little effect. Duke, wearing two layers of gloves, said as he gently pressed the corpse with his fingers, and found that it was only slightly faded, and added, so, the temperature of the deceased's needs to be measured. This task will be handed over to you, you must believe in yourself. What? Without waiting for the student to speak, Duke handed the thermometer over and gave him a approving look. Soon after, Bernard looked at Duke with a bitter look, Sir, the calculation results are out. If the formula you provided is correct, the deceased should have been killed at 11.30 last night. Understood, you should wash your hands first, write down all of these, and then find a pot. It's better to be bigger. By the way, I want coal. After entering the state, Duke did not even lift his head, and ordered casually. What are you going to do? Bernard was puzzled. Hearing that, Duke put down the measuring ruler, picked up a bone saw, and said calmly, the shape of the symphysis pubis is used to determine the age of the deceased. Therefore, I need to take out the pelvis and boil some of the soft tissue in the way. Professor, are you Satan? In Bernard's eyes, his mentor has become a disgusting person, he quickly refused, and stepped forward to take the bone saw. If you let others know about this, I'm afraid we will both go to prison. Wiping off the blood splashed on his collar, Duke stood up and persuaded, you have read the letter. You should know the whole story. The murderer is still at large. Perhaps, another dead soul will be added tonight. This in this case, it is better to believe in science instead of relying on private investigators. In fact, nothing can comfort the undead better than catching a murderer, besides, the letter says that this corpse will be handled by me. Well, I hope your theory is useful. Two hours later, the students passing by the building found that there was smoke wafting from the window in the dissection room. The night is deep. White Church District, Police Station Branch. L.U. Lee stood in the stone-built entrance hall, holding a coffee cup, thinking about how to lock the murderer's identity, but the police officers passing by, afraid of disturbing him, all walked around. A wandering warbler, a man with generous shots, how can the two intersect? According to normal logic, there must be some connection between the murderer and the victim. However, with the exception of antisocial characters, such as Jack the Ripper, but L.U. Lee, a normal person, could not put himself in the role of a lunatic anyway. Mr. Detective, the identity of the deceased has been ascertained, Martha Tabryan, 41 years old at UU reading www.ukansha.com. At this moment, Officer Winsley walked quickly with a document. It seemed that he was in a good mood, at least he was not straightforward. All the information found by the plainclothes police detective is recorded on it, please take a look. At the same time as receiving the documents, L.U. Lee said in a deep voice, Have you found out which guests she has received recently? Well, there are currently two suspects, plain clothes have gone to invite them over. In the hall, there was silence again, only the sound of pages turning. Until ten minutes later, a homeless man rushed in from the rain and shouted vaguely, Another one died. Letter. Letter to you. No one would have imagined that a madman rushed into the police station. When Winsley reacted, he had already ran away. The whole process definitely did not exceed 30 seconds. For a time, everyone looked at each other. Not far away, two guards wearing black tarpaulins were taken aback, and they ran after them. Looking at the letter on the ground with the skull postmark, an ominous premonition enveloped everyone. To the detective Mr. L. U. Lee, Tong said that with your help, 
the Scotland Yard investigation is on track. This is ridiculous. I kill because I like to kill. Moreover, I hate the wanderings the most in my life, and I will insist on punishing them. By the way, the woman who died this time didn't even have a chance to mourn, and next time, I will cut some souvenirs for you. Tomorrow night, my knife is going to make trouble again, just let it have a good time. Try to catch me, hey, haha. The last signature, Jack the Ripper, from hell. After reading this provocative letter, L. U. Lee's first reaction was where is the new murder scene? Really is the notorious Jack the Ripper. What is the relationship between him and the tramp? For a while, many thoughts writhed in L. U. Lee's mind, causing him a headache. It was not until Wensley reminded him that he came back to his senses. Mr. Detective, what is mentioned in the letter? The murderer's handwritten letter, he claimed that he had killed another warbler not long ago. What? Winsley frowned, stretched out his hand to take the letter, and as his eyes moved down, his expression became more solemn, and finally he cursed in a low voice, biped beast. At this time, there was a rush of horseshoes, which successfully diverted his attention. Looked up, a carriage appeared in the sight of everyone. Soon, two men in the dust walked into the hall, one in a police uniform, and the other, L.U. Lee had seen. Dear police officers, I am Duke, a professor of medicine at King's College. The results of the autopsy have been released. The deceased was between 40 and 42 years old. The fatal wound was on the neck. On the way here, Duke has foreseen various possible situations, such as the police do not believe in this advanced forensic theory, or the police locked the murderer in advance, and he also thought of a countermeasure. Now. All plans have been interrupted, because he saw a familiar person among the police officers. L.U. Lee, why are you here? To be able to live in a foreign country, no, it is in another time and space. It is definitely a pleasure to meet someone you know, so Duke said this almost subconsciously. Just like you, invited here. L.U. Lee nodded at him, not showing too much enthusiasm. After all, they were in the police station, and it would be difficult to answer in case someone asks him. You two know each other. Wensley felt quite surprised. Later in the afternoon, Mr. Detective asked him whether Professor Duke was also from the Far East. It stands to reason that the two should be unrelated. Character jumping off doesn't mean that you can't tell the priority. At this time, Duke also reacted. He pretended to be calm and explained. I met once by fate a few years ago and never contacted again. It turned out to be like this. Winsley nodded, and soon brought the topic back to the topic, however, the most urgent thing now is to find the deceased. I will first go to the inspector's office and request additional police to search for the murder scene. The words fell, he trod away with the letter sent by the murderer, and the police officers gathered in the hall scattered all around, looking for their rain gear. Seeing that Duke was still puzzled, L.U. Lee walked over and explained a few words in a low voice. Jack the Ripper. Not long after, the guy let out an exclamation, and then lowered his voice immediately, he is a legend. If he can be arrested and brought to justice, maybe we can get unexpected benefits from it and enter the so-called excellent class. We, cooperate to solve the case? After some thought, L.U. Lee acquiesced to this statement. After all, a person's power is limited. Well, Duke, what do you think is this so-called exam? Taking advantage of no one around, he decided to ask this question that has been hidden in his heart. In fact, it is not difficult to guess that the other Thuranine people who have come to this world also want to know the answer. Because everything happened all of a sudden, everyone didn't have time to think. When you were in the classroom, you were the most stable. Why do you become daunting now? After finding his companions, Duke's attributes became more apparent. However, after he took L. U. Lee's shoulders, he got serious again, let's treat it as acting. We are students in the acting department. What scripts the director gives, we just need to keep acting seriously. 
there is no need to question it. If you think too much, it's not good. In Duke's view, this problem has no solution. Instead of speculating, it's better to base yourself now. Acting? It's really similar. You're a medical professor, and I'm a detective. I just don't have a script. If I don't pass the test, I will terminate the contract. L. U. Lee gave a wry smile, and felt that the question he asked was pale and powerless, but as soon as he met someone who had experienced the same thing, he asked it unconsciously. At this time, Winsley pushed open the door of the office and hurriedly interrupted the conversation between the two of them, it's a pity that I don't have time to reminisce about the past, Mr. Detective, please accompany us to search for the dead. Hearing the words, L. U. Lee's expression converged, I suggest to bring Professor Duke, he is on the scene. Yes, get in the car. Wensley didn't even listen to the words, but directly agreed. No breakthrough progress was made in the case. He could even imagine that after the news was disclosed by various newspapers, Whitechapel District and Scotland Yard would be placed on the cusp of public opinion. In the murky rain curtain, four carriages diverged at the crossroads, patrolling the dark alleys and corners in the jurisdiction. 0 20 in the morning. Two groups of plainclothes policemen escorted the suspects to the empty police station. The inspector personally interrogated them. Do you know Martha to Brian? The two of them trembled, and one of them blurted out and asked, What's wrong with her? I am asking you questions. The middle-aged inspector wearing a twostar epaulette has sharp eyes. No. The voice of the person who spoke actively, while the other person remained silent. Upon seeing this, the inspector pressed his mind and decided to interrogate the person who tends to cooperate first. Your name is Charles Wen, right? Yes, I. Don't be nervous, I invite you to come so late, there is something to ask about. Said, he turned to plain clothes and said, go and bring three cups of hot coffee. S attitude has eased a lot. Charles, where did you go last night? Stay at home and sleep, or have fun. I. Seeing that he was still hesitating, an experienced plain clothes scolded, Martha Tablin is dead. The prostitute said that you had a dispute with her the day before yesterday and threatened to kill her. It's not me. Charles exclaimed, then took a deep breath and organized the words, Yesterday. I was detained at the Thames District Police Station. Because of the theft of coal, there should be a record there. You can send someone there. Check it out. You two will go now. After hearing the suspects say this, the inspector believed a bit instead, and raised his finger to two plain clothes, asking them to take a look. What about you, Kevin Rankin? The grey-blue eyes turned to the silent person, with a sharp tone who can prove where you went last night. I followed the with a knife last night. This guy was shockingly speaking, and he immediately suppressed everyone, and the two plain clothes who were going to collect evidence also stopped. What? The accident came so suddenly that everyone did not react, and the inspector stayed there for a few seconds, still feeling unbelievable. The murderer who carried at least two homicides was caught just like that? Thinking of this, he stepped forward and grabbed Kevin by the neckline, and said word by word, You killed Martha to Brian? You wrote this provocative letter too. No, if I can, I would rather kill that woman by myself. Talking, Kevin shook his head quite calmly, with regret and joy in his tone, however, someone can kill her like a beast, that's... Shut up, piggy. Mr. Inspector slapped the guy severely, then spit. Guys, entertain the guests. In this era, the law does not protect scum, so it is truncheons and leather boots from all directions that greet Kevin. You are crazy a bunch of dogs. God, don't fight, you knocked out four of my teeth, no, six. A few minutes later, that bruised and fat face was covered with blood stains, Kevin held his teeth and wailed loudly his expression no longer the previous gloomy and hideous expression. At this moment, Charles, who had been sitting next to him watching the show, 
had already secretly shrunk to the corner. He is very fortunate now that the gentleman who patrolled the Thames River last night tortured himself. If you don't want to have only soup in the future, you'd better shut up. At this time, the inspector took the hot coffee and rushed toward the guy's face, now, you can answer whatever I ask, and say one more tone. Arrange for you to go to Robin Island. The voice was not loud, but it was very deterrent. Kevin instantly closed his voice, looking at the police officers with fear and, perhaps, hatred. You killed people. No. Why are you following her? This drowned our child a few days ago and lied that he entrusted little Jack to his aunt who lives in the country to raise, bitch. Quiet, she is dead, give me some respect. Mr. Inspector's eyes were unreliable. He knew that the Whitechapel district was as dirty as a sewer. Illegal transactions, illegal abortions and drowning of newborn children occurred every day. However, 60,000 stray warblers were doing this. Catch it all? Thinking of this, he secretly sighed, and said coldly, OK, talk about what you saw and experienced last night. Don't be lucky. I will send someone to verify. Last night at about nine o'clock, I found out where the prostitute where she was staying temporarily, so I took a few friends and a short knife to send this executioner to hell. Charles, in handcuffs, squeezed out a smirk, sat down on the chair, and said in an unusually relaxed posture, I have searched for a long time, and finally saw her, the time should be around twelve o'clock. The alley is narrow and dim covered in mist, and the dung of livestock is everywhere. The stench makes people can't help but hide their noses, and the is lying on the ground, like littered garbage. Obviously, someone started ahead of time, what a good guy. The words fell, he shrugged to everyone. This action is undoubtedly a provocation. A plain clothes angrily slapped the interrogation table. From the sidelines to the present, he can't help it who was there with you at the time, name, address. Hearing this, the corners of Kevin's mouth moved, subconsciously wanting to refuse to cooperate, but the strong smell of blood in his mouth, the death threat sent to Robin Island, made him give up. Anthony Demon and John Demon, they are a pair of brothers, they live at number 3 Brick Lane. The inspector waved his hand and motioned for a group of plain clothes to bring the person involved. Then he sat back across from Kevin and asked with a cold face, Have you seen any suspicious persons wandering around? When I turned into the alley, there was a tall guy who passed me by, staring at the three of us like a foreigner. Did you see his face clearly? No, the street lights in that area have not been repaired yet, and the light is too dim. However, I remember him wearing a deerstalker hat and a long black windbreaker, covering himself tightly. At this time, Kevin also wanted to drive. Martha is dead anyway. It is definitely not worth it to catch him and friends for this bitch. It's better to just go ahead and tell everything you know. Are there any more? That guy has a briar pipe in the corner of his mouth, but his boots are very old, like a run-down upper-class person. With a sharp stroke, Mr. Inspector raised his head, frowned and looked at the suspect and said, You mean? the murderer is a refugee. Maybe, not sure. At the same time, the group of search teams where L.U. Lee was located found a dead person. I saw, beside the garbage dump, a woman with a hideous and terrified expression was lying there, blood mingled with sludge and livestock feces. Obviously, in the eyes of the murderer, she is not much different from them. Out of inherited professional habits, UU reads www.yunchu.com LU Lee walked over quickly, and looked at the basic condition of the corpse with the faint light emitted by the fuel street lamp lie on his back on the ground, the skirt is lifted to the abdomen, the knees are bent inward, the legs are rolled up, and the feet are on the ground, the face is swollen and the trauma is obvious, there is a deep wound on the neck, the wound almost wraps around the neck, the left hand is placed on the chest, he suffered an inverted V-shaped opening. In fact, L.U. Lee became more patient and restrained after he had close contact with the body of the last victim. Therefore, 
he stopped procrastinating and directly arranged the investigation work, President Winsley, please block the scene. Any unrelated persons who try to approach this street shall be sent to the police station for transcripts. Duke, you are a professional forensic doctor. Let's do an on-site investigation to determine the cause of death and the time of the murder. I will be with you. L. U. Lee assigned the work methodically, and several police officers were willing to cooperate with him. After leaving two kerosene lamps, they walked quickly out of the street and acted as guards. Brother, put on a mask. Although there are some problems with the size, it can block many germs and reduce the odor. After finishing speaking, Duke, who consciously acts as a tool man, took out a set of equipment from his suitcase and started survey work. At this moment, everyone is doing their own work in silence. An L.U. Lee squatted down and checked the debris near the corpse with his gloves, and soon a piece of paper soaked in blood was printed in front of his eyes. The paper with two lines of fine print and the provocative book not long ago made him feel that the murderer was a butcher who desperately wanted to be noticed.